The gentleman yields back, the gentlelady from Michigan. Ms. Tlaib is recognized for five minutes. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Dr. Wo uh, Mr. Woods, did Exxon help fund One Alaska? Yes or no? I'm not familiar with that. Well, One Alaska was a front group created specifically to oppose Alaska's ballot initiative that would require oil companies to pay their fair share. It actually received ne nearly $21 million in contributions. 94% of One Alaska's contributions came from five oil, oil and gas companies, including Exxon and BP. So I, I'm, I would like to submit for the record, Madam Chair, uh, an article, Oil Companies Spend big to, big to Try to Defeat Alaska's Tax Proposal. Without objection. Same thing in Colorado in 2018, where a measure, this is resident-led measure, ballot, ballot measure, to ban oil and gas extraction within a half a mile of homes, schools, and waterways on the ballot. That front group was called Colorado Rising. And that one, and again, resident-led, that one, Mr. Wirth, Mike Wirth, I'm not even going to bother to ask if you're familiar with, because I know the answer. Many of you, all of you, helped fund some of these. I guess Chevron specifically funded $33 million uh, behind its subsidiary, Noble Energy, contributed to that front group. Mr. Summers, are you familiar with Energy Citizens? I am familiar with Energy Citizens, Congresswoman. I'm, I'm glad you are. It's a front group to American Petroleum Institute. Uses it to flood Facebook with hundreds of ads opposing climate provisions in the Build Back Better Act. There, you all spent about, what, nearly half a million dollars in misleading ads since August. Of course, when you look at these ads, y'all, the public, when you look at these ads, they don't say the name Exxon, BP, Chevron, anywhere. Y'all hide and you deceive the public. So oil and gas companies can go claiming that they are pro-environment while opposing sensible pro-environment measures in secret. Lies, plain and simple. Madam Chair, in Michigan, and I'd like to submit for the record as well, uh, Michigan utility, Utilities front groups begin misleading in cam campaigns ahead of a vote on energy legislation for Without the record. Without objection. There, uh, DTE Energy and Consumers Energy used a front group called Alliance for Michigan Power and Citizens for Energizing Michigan's Economy, respectively, to target my residents and their amazing work, amazing work. They're the ones fundraising for this, Madam Chair to support increased rooftop solar energy. That's how they were wanted to cut the energy cost so they can make a living, so they can provide a quality life for their families by reducing their, their reliance on, on, on um, corporate polluters. Um, Mike, Mike Worth, when are you going to cut the check? Congresswoman, I, I'm not trying to understand the context of your question. That's okay, I okay. So could I? Excuse me, I, I'd like to correct something that you that you've sure. been provided with some inaccurate information. Mm -hmm. uh, Noble Energy was not a subsidiary of Chevron in, in 2000. Okay, you can submit it for the record, sir. So Chevron, you can submit it to the committee. Chevron has about 70 serious cases of environmental and community abuses in 31 countries worldwide, owing over 50 billion in judgments and settlements. Checks, literally, settlement debts that you all have. So Mike, when are you gonna cut the check? Congressman, I'm not familiar with the number you When you are you going to cut the $50 billion check that you owe? It went through the courts. You owe $50 billion to communities in 31 countries. Congressman, I'd be happy to take a look at the source for your information on sure. this and, uh, and get back to you on it because I have no understanding of what Well, I have a doing. message for you as Chevron CEO. I mean, you made, what, $29 million last year in poisoning the planet? Um, Mr. Worth, you, you can't arrest us all. You can't arrest the truth. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Congresswoman, I, I am uh, not exactly following. So, so you're targeting in actions against the human rights lawyer Dotzinger. I mean, what you did there, your company, maybe through subsidiaries, I don't know. I just want to remind you, there are more of us than there are of you. You can poison the planet to make money, but we're going to defend the planet so we can live. And we will win. So, uh, you know, I need Chevron to cut the check. You owe $50 billion to indigenous communities and people that you harmed for profit. This is not about vilifying these companies. This is about accountability. You all know we're all paying the cost from our public health to our environment, the actions that you take, and you're hiding behind subsidiaries, and it's wrong. These are residents putting ballot initiatives on their local ballot 
to make a difference to save our planet. Get out of the way so they can do the work for the people in the community.